the drama bear scene five now after this uh, uh, scene we know the story uh, smirnov comes to popova's house to collect his money popova rejects pain and this situation leads to a conflict between them uh, now that conflict further develops in this scene too right in this scene too now smirnov uh calls the waiter he calls the waiter but popova comes this is a humorous situation smirnov wants waiter for some drink but popova appears now the argument between them continues the argument between them continues right now we'll say her eyes downcast downcast means looking down underline these words are very important sir in my solitude in my solitary life this uh, lonely situation i have grown unaccustomed i am not uh, used to unaccustomed means not used to the masculine voice female male voice masculine means voice of men actually this is not true why there is another man in this house who is that man luca luca also has a masculine voice now popova pretends that he has she has completely forgotten manly voice in the house after her husband's death it also means that she has had no contact no association with any men therefore she has forgotten completely the voice of men this is not true it's a lie and i can't understand bera shouting therefore don't shout i must ask you not to disturb my peace don't disturb my peaceful life my peace also means my morning don't disturb my morning right then smino he has only one problem if that problem is solved answered given he may go pay me the money he says please give me my money i'll go that's all now popo is not ready to pay somebody else's money because she never borrowed anything from anyone she is also very cunning and tactful not to pay ah uh, i told you perfectly plainly i clearly told you i haven't any money to spare ah uh, spend i don't have any money to spend now wait until the day after tomorrow right now she postpones paying money for two days actually this is a tactful clever cunning method she wants time to avoid paying this money ah. 
Smirnoff. And I told you perfectly plainly, I don't want the money the day after tomorrow, but today. If you don't pay me today, I'll have to hang myself tomorrow. Kill. Now Smirnoff also does not give up. He knows much about uh, his borrowers, his uh, debtors. He knows how debtors avoid uh, paying money by giving various reasons. Now even Popoa has this silly reason. What is the silly reason? Her mourning. Now Popoa, if you do not give me my money today, you know, tomorrow I will have to kill myself. Mm. But what can I do? Popoa says, I can't do anything. No, you are so strange. You are very strange man. You are different from other men. Hm. Then you won't pay me, Popoa? Don't you pay me? She is very direct, straightforward. She says, I can't. You see? Popoa is a very strong-hearted woman. She says, I can't. Ah. Then Smirnov, in that case, I stay here. Ah. Shall wait until I get it. Now finally Smirnov decides to stay and to have his money. He sits down. You are going to pay me. Hmm. The day after tomorrow, okay. Day after tomorrow, you are going to pay me? Okay, I'll wait. Very well. I'll stay here until day after tomorrow. I sit here, I'll sit here all the time. Then he gets up. In an angry mood, he again says, I ask you, have I got to pay the interest tomorrow or oh, haven't I? Or do you think I am going, I am doing this for a job? Popoa, this is not a job. This is not a job. I want my money today. I don't want it day after tomorrow. I have to pay the bank. Popoa says, please don't shout. Mm, this isn't a stable. What is stable? Ah, a yard for horses. Horses. This is not a stable. This is a house. I wasn't talking you about a stable, but whether I got my interest to pay tomorrow or not, that is what I know. I wanted to know. Then Popua changes the subject quickly. She is very cunning. I told you, tactful. She knows that. Smirnov is much worried about his money. She does not want to pay. Therefore, she changes the subject to other matter. A serious matter. More serious than money. What is this? Please underline. You don't know how to behave before women. You don't know how to behave before women. Ah. Now Popova says, Smirnov does not know how to be a gentleman, a good man, before we may. This is a serious criticism according to that time. Because in Russian society, especially in landlord society, Women expect men to respect them. Women expect uh, men to respect them. What is the idea? The woman always needs the man to behave like a gentleman before them with speaking a good language and 
will rest that is uh, respect for women if a man behaves disrespectfully it is an insult to the women now in this way popova brings the situation to some social matter uh, human matter money matter is forgotten now smirnov is touched by this criticism he says i do not know how to behave before women hmm no underline you don't know popova says you don't know you are rude ill mannered you are rough you are vile and rude means ill bred man ill bred means ill mannered badly brought up hmm? decent people good people respectable people do not talk to a woman like that ha huh? now popova is very successful the method works very well now we no forgets money now they have some other matter to discuss what is this other matter man's pride man's pride man situation in society ah a woman criticizes it now smirnov has to respond because his pride his great character manly character has been criticized by a woman he gets angry what a business ha huh. how do you want me to talk to you ha huh? in french hmm? am i to speak to you in french in a respectful manner then he speaks in french he loses his temper patience he is very angry now madam or oh, madam is a french word madam you who speak how happy i am now after speaking few french words how happy i am i am very happy please online this is irony this words are irony how happy i am i am very happy that you don't pay me i am very happy because you do not give me my money irony actually smirnov is not happy huh? how can a man be happy when he does not receive what he wants actually smirnov is happy and not happy and is very angry i have disturbed you i have troubled you such a lovely weather today today weather is very beautiful madam and how well you look in the morning now in morning suit you are very beautiful <laughs> these words are sarcastic sarcastic he criticizes popova's character indirectly woman's character her morning her appearance everything a cunning method of not paying his money in these few words he bows he bends his head popo understands this that silly and rude that foolish rude ill mannered that is also silly and ill mannered smirnov teasing her joking her silly and rude this is another parody p a r o d y parody imitating words ah uh, now smirnov begins a serious criticism on all women this is his misogynistic character i told you i gave you that word misogynistic he hates women 
He does not like women. He has reasons, his own reasons. He has his own reasons to hate women. Now in this long speech, in this long speech, he explains his reasons why he hates women, why he dislikes women, right? This is from man's point of view, according to that society. But now things have changed. Hmm? Right. Now let's see. Smirnov criticism. Comments on woman's character. What does he say? Silly and rude. I don't know how to behave before women. Huh? I do not know how to behave before women. <laughs> Madam. Underline. In my time, now in my time means in my life, I have seen more women than you have seen sparrows. Sparrows means birds. Ah, how sparrows. Madam, you must know one thing. What is it? I have associated women. I have seen women more than you have seen birds. Ah. In that way, Smirnov is trying to protect his manly pride. Three times, he further says, three times, I fought, I fought duels. Duels means pistol fightings. I have fought pistol fightings three times on account of women, because of women. You know, I'm such a man. I was a ladies' man, remember? I was a ladies' man. I was refused, you know. I refused. I refused. I have refused, rejected 12 women. Huh? 12 women came after me uh, to have my hand. But I rejected them all. 12 women, you know. And nine have refused me. I was refused by nine women. <laughs> I went after nine women. They all rejected me. Now altogether 21 women. Now this is Smirnov past experience. Encounters with women. He wants to say he knows much about women. Therefore he knows how to respect women. Therefore, Popova's comment is criticism is not reasonable, not correct. Yes, there was a time, you know, madam, in my time when I was a young man, I played the fool. I was a fool. I was a foolish person. I scented myself. Scented means perfume. I used nice perfume, scents. Honeyed words, beautiful words. I had jewelry. <laughs> I was decorated with nice jewelry. That, is, that was how I looked before women. You know, I made beautiful bows. Respect. I respected women beautifully. I used to love. You know, madam, I used to love women. I used to suffer from love. I used to sigh at the moon, cry at the moon. At lonely night, to get sour, to be unhappy, to thaw, thaw means melt. I was a melting man, a melting lover. Sometimes I was a rigid lover, freeze, very tough lover. That was how I looked. Ah, that was me. I used to love passionately. I used to love women passionately. Uh, passionately means deeply, madly, every blessed way, every good way. Oh, devil take me. I was a foolish man. I hate that life now. I hate that life now. I used to chatter like, chatter means speak. 
magpie, uh, magpie bird. I used I used to speak like a bird. What about about emancipation? Write down, underline. Emancipation. What is emancipation? Hmm? What is emancipation? Right. Write down. Remains. Struggle. Or fight. For equal equal rights in society right during the 19th century, right, we mean struggle struggle or fight for equal rights in society during the 19th century. Ah. Now, this is one topic discussed in this drama. The topic of emancipation. The topic of emancipation. Now, during uh, or towards the end of the 19th century and the beginning of 20th century, uh, there was a social movement of women demanding equal rights, equal rights, as men enjoy, rights for voting, rights for a job, rights for religion, rights for education. Uh, there was a social movement, a struggle in the street. Now, Smirnov says, he supported this emancipation when other men were against women. He took the women's side and supported them. He further mentions, I wasted half of my will. I wasted half of my money on tender feelings. Tender feelings is a metonymy for women, and the feeling means women. I spent half of my money on women. You know, I was ladies' man. I supported them in their emancipation. I know, therefore, I know how to respect women. But now, you must excuse me, I am very sorry. You won't get me, get round me like that now. Now Smirnov says, now no woman can cheat him. No woman can deceive him. Now I know much about these women. I have had enough. I have had enough. They are black eyes. They are passionate eyes. Uh, passionate, lustful eyes, mm. ruby lips, red lips, dimple cheeks. He refers to Popoa. And now all these are common characteristics that Russian <laughs> women have. Black eyes, passionate eyes, ruby lips, dimple cheeks, the moon, the whispers, timid breathing. I don't like them now. Right? I don't like them now. I wouldn't give a brass farthing 
any coin, any money for the lot for those people, madam. Present company, you. Present company means you. He refers to Popova. You always expected. No, no, no you are not uh, included here. But all women. <laughs> now, all women, he means, all women are included. What is the idea? Uh, even Popova is a woman like that. Cheating woman. With black eyes, passionate eyes, ruby lips, dimple cheeks. Huh. All women, great or little. Now, Popova is a little woman. Not a big woman. Uh, now he says, all women are insincere, crooked, backbiters, envious, liars. You see these words. Now, Sminov makes a big negative picture of women. They are insincere, not honest, crooked, not direct. Hard. They are very cunning. Backbiters, they attack from behind. They are envious, jealous, liars. They never tell the truth. They, to the morrow of their bones, to the bottom of their heart, they are vain. Useless, uh, empty, trivial, mm, merciless, trivial, uh, very simple, mm, not very seriousness, trivial women, merciless, they have no mercy, unreasonable, they are not logical. Mm. As far as this is concerned, he refers to Popo, as far as you are concerned, you are the same. Ah. He goes on further. Excuse my outspokenness. Outspokenness means open-heartedness. Excuse me. Hmm? Please. I am open-hearted. A sparrow can you can give 10 points to any philosopher. Underline. Anyone can give 10 points. Any admiration or any praises. Philosopher in petticoats. Now what is this? Philosopher is a great intelligent person. Petticoats implies women. Now what is the idea? There are no intelligent, educated women in this society. Anybody can give you 10 points, 10 marks. If you can name a woman who is wise, who is educated, who is learned. You look at one of these poetic creatures. Women are just poetic creatures. <laughs> what is poetic creatures? Uh, very soft characters. Only found in books. Uh, Good women are found only in books, only in literature. Only poets admire them. Uh, they are all muslin, soft, like ethereal demigoddesses. Sometimes they look like demigoddesses, not full goddess, half goddess. Airy, ethereal means airy, uh, divide. You have a million transports of joy. What is million transports of joy? Quick change in emotions. You have so many quick change in emotions. Women are full of emotions. They are emotional creatures. Smirnov says, they change their emotions time to time. You look into your soul, look into your heart. In every woman's heart, there is a crocodile. Crocodile means unbelievable, cheating, cunning animal. What is the idea? These women are cheating, unbelievable, unexpected. They are cunning. Uh, they attack at any moment secretly. Crocodiles. You know crocodile, they just jumps out of water and attacks the animal. He is hiding underwater. Nobody knows there is a crocodile. 
He quickly comes out. Now, Smirnov says, all women are like crocodiles. A very serious derogatory or critical metaphor used for women. He further says, but most disgusting thing, the most ugly thing of all, of every woman, of this crocodile, now he refers to women as crocodile. These women have, for some reason or other, so some reason or other reason, she imagines, she thinks that it's chef devil, uh, great power, monopoly, chef devil is a French word, her great power and monopoly, authority, it's privilege. She has right and monopoly, authority. What is that power? Tender feelings. She thinks she can use her tender feelings to control men. Tender feelings. Why confound it? Damn it. I don't like it. I hate it. Hang me. You can hang me on that nail from my feet if you like. Now he has a question to Popova. What is the question? Have you met a woman who can love anybody except a lab dog? What is a lab dog? Now lab dog is a small, tiny, weeny little dog. Huh? Very, very little. In the 19th century, there was a fashion, a, a woman's fashion. What is this fashion? Wherever they go, they take this little dog as an ornament. Uh, it's a, it was a fashion. Therefore, they love this lab dog. Uh, Sminov criticizes that all women can love lab dog. But they cannot love men. When she is in love, can she do anything but snivel and slobber? Snivel and slobber means you sigh, you cry. Uh, snivel and slobber. For women, love means crying, shedding tears, uh, having a runny nose. That is what love means to these women. But a man is suffering. You know, a man suffers hard in the field, in society. He makes a lot of sacrifices. Men make so many sacrifices. But her love, she expresses her love in playing about with her scarf. The scarf means dresses, dressmaking, mm, things like that. The scarf is some sort of handkerchief. It's also a symbol of fashion, like the lap dog. What do they do? They are much concerned about their beauty, their appearance. But you know men, they work hard, they sacrifice too much for the women. But what about women? They do not know how to love a man. They know how to love their scarf. They know how to love their lap dog. That is what he says. And also, they are trying to hook him. Hook him means control him. They are trying to manipulate, handle the man firmly by the nose. Hook him. You have the misfortune, bad luck. Smirnov says, hey, Popova, you have the bad luck. You are unfortunate to be a woman. Ah. It is your bad luck to be born as a woman. Now, this is a Smirnov society's uh, 
society's vision of view about women. They think all women are inferior creatures, low class human characters, inferior. Men are superior, higher than women. Women are lower than men in society. Right? Men and women are not equal. That is why emancipation comes up. Ah. Woman wants to be equal with the man in every matter of life. Ah. But men do not believe so. Then Sminov says, tell me truthfully, tell me really, actually, underline, have you ever seen a woman who was sincere, faithful and constant? Ah. These words are very, very important. Look at these three words, sincere. Sincere, right? Sincere. Faithful. Constant. Ah. These are three qualities characteristics that men of Smirnov society expect from a woman. If a woman has these three qualities, she is a good woman, virtuous woman. If a woman does not have these three qualities, she is literally a bad woman. Now, what is the first quality? Sincere, honest, faithful. Uh, honest lover. In love, she must be very honest, faithful. Mm? She must have not have other men. She must love only her husband. Constant means not changing. Mm? Not changing. Not changing in uh, her emotions. Constant. Smirnov says, no woman in our society have those qualities. Every woman is bad. You haven't. You haven't seen. Only freaks. Freaks means mad women. Only mad women and old women are faithful, constant. Now Smirnov says, only a mad woman or oh, only an old woman, only an old woman have such qualities. No young woman has those qualities, like Popova. You will meet a cat with a horn, a ah, smin of challenges, Popova. You can find a cat with horns, but, and you can even find a woodcock, white woodcock. Woodcock is a bird. Woodcocks are normally black. You can even a uh, white woodcock than a constant woman. Now, Smirnov argues that good women are very rare in this society. You will never find a good woman in this society. They are all immoral. They are all bad. They are not sincere. They are not faithful. They are not constant. This is you know, criticism on women. Serious criticism. Smirnov is not always altogether correct. Altogether correct. But we know not all women are good or not all men are good. There are both bad men as well as bad women in our society, right? 
Smirnov means all men are good. They are white characters. And all women are bad. They are black characters. That is not true. Therefore, this is Smirnov. Male chauvinism. Write down that word. Male chauvinism. Male chauvinism means man's pride. Men think that they are higher than women. Mm. They are superior than women. This is their pride. Male chauvinism. Right? They think that they must have a control on women. All women are under their control. All men are good. All women are bad. Chauvinistic attitudes. Male chauvinism. Right? Now, Smirnov is a male chauvinistic character. Smirnov is a male chauvinistic character. Right. Now, Popua also has her own explanation. Now, Popua responds, Popua responds to Smirnov criticism. Popova responds to Smirnov criticism because she has to protect her dignity as a woman. Now, this man has insulted all women in general. Now, Popova comes forward to protect the dignity of all women. She proves, she argues that not all women are bad. Hmm. And also not all men are good. Not, not all men are good. There are good women as well as bad men. Right. In her argument, she proved that point. She proved that point. Now, Smirnov has completely forgotten his money matter. Now he is much concerned about his manly character, manly pride, mm. manly pride. Ah. Popova is very successful in turning this change in this subject. Popova questions, then according to you, according to your idea, who is faithful? Constant in love, unchanging in love, is it the man? Smirnov says, yes, the man. Yes, madam, it is the man. Man is constant, man is uh, faithful, man is sincere. But woman, she is not sincere, she is not faithful, she is not constant. Right. Now, in our next session, We'll see how Popova responds to Smirnov criticism. How Popova responds. She has, she also has her own reasons, her own argument, right? In our next session, we'll discuss how she responds to Smirnov serious criticism on women.